Okay, this is a quick demo of Team Drives. You'll see it in your drive over here now. So if you click on Team Drives, you'll see any that have been created. You can click on New Team Drive, and let's call this Test Team. And you can click on Create. And the point of a Team Drive is that the files and the folders that would live within a Team Drive don't belong to people who create or move files into there, they belong to the team. So if somebody leaves the team, or people come and go, those files maintain total consistency. Um, and you don't have to worry about file ownership because they're owned by the team. So now we're in this test team. I'm the only member of the team at the moment, so you can click on the add member. And typically you might add a group here, so example the science faculty or the English faculty or something like that, and then everybody gets that team drive um, that they can access and they can put files into them. But bear in mind when you put files into a team drive, they belong to the team, not to you. If you want to put things into a team drive, you have to be the owner of those files. Um, you can put files that you don't own into a team drive because it changes the ownership. Um, and you'll see all your team drives listed up here. So I've just started the science one by putting a chemistry A level folder in there. I haven't done anything else yet. And I've got an IT support one. And you can see the ownership changes up here. And you can click on new and create files directly in here. But remember that you're not creating them in your drive, you're creating them in the team drive. So they're owned by the team. If you want to change permissions, then you can. Click on add member, and then you click on this little widget up here, uh, set access, so you can change the access for people, kind of like when you share a file, and if you are, you've got full permissions on a team drive, you can change the memberships at the moment, science staff have full access here, and I've got full access, but I'm also a member of science staff, so I could. Um, remove myself from that really. I don't need to be a separate person just because I created it originally. So hopefully that will make it easier to work in a collaborative way as a team. Early days there.